What's up, you bloodsuckers? JMO Ryzen here, and I just watched El Condi, the latest feature film from Chilean director Pablo Lorraine, who recently made that picture where Kristen Stewart plays Princess Diana, and that other movie where Natalie Portman plays Jacqueline Kennedy. So now, in a drastic departure from those movies about white ladies of high social standing, we have a film where Margaret Thatcher is a vampire. No, I'm not kidding, and normally I wouldn't even spoil that because it's a bonkers reveal later in the movie, but I want you to see this, and I figured that little tidbit might whet your appetite. Old Marge, however, is just a small piece of this bonkers movie. The main portion is a fictionalized account of the life of ex-Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet, who was not a good guy if you don't like fascism. He hoarded wealth, set up death camps, and other staples of the dictatorial formula. The kicker here is that he's actually a vampire, and most of the film takes place after his ostensible death where he has retired to a farmhouse and is being visited by his children, who hope that old Pap-Pap will finally kick the bucket and leave them that sweet, sweet blood money. They're not the only ones though, as a Catholic nun infiltrates the farm in the guise of an accountant, with the mission of procuring those dirty doubloons for the church and killing the master vampire once and for all. It's a ridiculous film, and tonally it functions as a dark comedy with very, very dry humor, which I appreciated. The vampirism element also sets up a lot of R-rated carnage, and pretty obvious political metaphors. Hey, he sucks the blood of the people, metaphorically and literally, you get it? My main critique is that this can be pretty heavy-handed, and the film lingers a bit too long on some very blunt dialogue involving Pinochet and his children, where they talk about how evil and soulless they are. I think it helps a lot though if you know the vampire is based on a real person, and thus you can understand the personal vendetta a Chilean director might have against a vile oppressor of his people. Personally, I'm pretty ignorant about almost anything except, like, metal trivia, so I didn't realize he was a real dude until Margaret Thatcher showed up and I was like, wait a minute. So I learned something today. Thanks, movie. But here's the thing. This movie is so gorgeous and so well made, it could have had no story or themes at all and I would have watched it with rapt attention just for its cinematic attributes. The black and white cinematography is breathtaking with extremely elegant camera work and a beautiful classical score. The way these elements come together makes the film feel impossibly elegant, like a baroque 17th century painting given life, which when mixed with that dry humor and savage violence makes for a very unique experience. I should also say the movie isn't overtly a comedy, it's more in the background, so it's not like you're going to be laughing your ass off the whole time. And this goes into the question of tone and how this is not going to be for everybody. It's very strange, and I think a casual viewer might find it boring or confusing, if not downright impenetrable. However, if you like weirdo movies and are willing to go the distance with something complex and weird and rewarding, then I can highly recommend El Conde. It's something else, I've never seen anything quite like it, and it gives a whole new meaning to the term historical fiction. I guess we already have, like, Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, but that movie wasn't very good. Although I guess there is some crossover potential? Uh, but I think I'd rather have a movie where Richard Nixon is secretly a werewolf. I don't know why, but that sounds amazing. And that's the review. Bada bing bada boom. Watch El Condi if you want to, it's good for the Halloween season. Now excuse me, I'm gonna go get some gabagool. Peace, love, and ripped out hearts, and I'll see you animals in the next one.